Operation. Hello, innocent Mr. O'Driscoll, and today we'll be working with Chapter 1-3, Variables and Expressions. This uh, meets the state standards, Strand 2, Concept 2, PO1, using an algebraic expression to represent a quantity in a given context. We'll be solving some problems here with using math, and so the subtraction, addition, and substituting for the letters, which are the variables. But we do need to know a few of the vocabulary words. A variable is just a letter, and it can be any letter. And it holds the place of a number. So we have N, X, W, K. Pick W and we write 3 plus W equals 5. Well, that's actually an equation because of an equal sign, but 3 plus W would be the expression. We just need to know what the value of W is to solve it. An algebraic expression is a math problem with numbers, letters, variables, and at least one math operation. To evaluate, you solve the problem and you obtain the answer. So 3W plus, 3 plus W equals 5, we can pretty much understand by substituting 3 plus 2 equals 5, and that would be the solution. Sometimes problems are a little bit harder. And here we go. Sorry about it, need to hide that. Chapter 1, 1 dash 3 variables and expressions, talking about the letters. And there's two ways that we typically solve uh, expression problems. Sometimes we can do it in mental math. It's just very simple, and you know the answer would be 3 plus r equals some number. And if r is a 2, I would substitute and say 3 plus 2 is 5. So it's a very general type of work. If we can have some specifics, and we can increase the complexity by putting in multiplications and powers, and we'll be building on that. But this is just to introduce it. Another method we can do to solve an expression is to substitute and solve it, so completely write it out. Sometimes there are larger numbers and the larger uh, operations that you just can't do it from memory uh, with, with a uh, little information. So let's go ahead and look at one of these. We've got a mental math one, and we'll pull this over. And we come out and we say 18 plus r, and we're saying r is a 5. Well, you really wouldn't have to rewrite it. You can think, okay, 18 plus 5, well, that would be 23, and that would be your answer. A pretty quick thing that we really don't have to set up a, a worksheet and actually do all the work. We can usually solve these in our head. Now, to substitute and solve usually has more constraints on the problem. Here we go now with 5w, I'm excuse me, 5m plus 11. m is a 6. Well, now we're going to substitute the 6 for the m, and we would have 5 times 6 plus 11. And PEMDAS, we always do one of the multiplications first. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 11, and the answer really is 41. We need to remove that last 14 in there. So we'll temporarily just color it over. The answer truly is 41. We can do another mental problem. We have the problem 6r equals 18. Well, if we go through our multiplication skills, we can pretty much figure out 6r equals 18, and 6 times 3 makes 18. So we know that r is an 18. Again, a mental solution makes it pretty quick. A more complex problem, we're going to have to substitute and solve. We would have 3m plus 9. And this one, m, is a 7. Well, again, we're going to have to rewrite this out. So 3m is multiplying. So we're going to say 3 times m, or in this case, the m is a 7. 3 times 7 plus 9. Then we work that up, and multiplication comes first. So 3 times 7 is 21. We bring down to plus 9. The last step left is the addition. So 21 plus 9 makes 30. Remember to show your work. Don't just put numbers down when you're doing this. I need to be able to look at your thoughts to see what kind of mistakes you might be making and look at the judgment you're choosing and finding a solution. There's still a couple more things we need to look at. 
we have to understand the words and how they're written. Again, vocabulary is a key component in working with expressions. Now, in this slide, we have Michael, and we know he weighs W pounds. We want to express in terms of W the weight of his three friends. So we need to read carefully what they're saying. Michael is W, his weight. We don't know his weight. So let's see. We first one we have Sam weighs five pounds more than Michael. Well, that tells me that I have to add the weight of Sam to Michael. So that one would come out looking like W plus 5. The weight plus 5 more pounds. The second one, Dan weighs twice as much as Michael. Well, twice is the number 2, and twice as much usually indicates multiplication. So we're simply going to go 2 times the W to reveal the answer. And there you go, 2W. That shows that Dan, who's a twice, well, he's twice as much as Michael. Michael's by being handled by the W to his weight. Now this next one. When you see less down, you must switch the position of the number and the variable in the problem. Otherwise, you'll have some tremendous wrong answers. So this problem is telling us that Lee weighs two pounds less than Michael. All you really have to think about doing is taking Michael and putting him in front of the less than and taking the two pounds and moving him to the back. It would sort of be like what I'm going to do down here with the W. I'm going to put the W in front of the less down and the two after the subtraction sign. Now we see W minus 2. Let's check that answer. There you go. Well, there's a couple of worksheets that I'm going to be doing and practicing. But here's the last couple of problems. We have a variable A and we have a variable B. And they're telling us that A is a 2, B is a 3. So we have to look at some problems and see if we're going to substitute and do the work, or maybe we just might be able to say really quickly, oh, that answer is 5. So then we're going to come down here to reveal the problems. And let's see. 2A. Well, that means 2 times A. So we write it as 2 times A equals 4. And you can see that they have the answer on the right-hand side. So we are able to calculate that one pretty easily. Then we come down to the next one, and they have 4B. Well, we've talked about the fact when a number is letter, a number and a letter are next to each other, we mean multiplication. So the B is the value of 3. So we substitute 3, and you have 4 times 3, and you get 12. And that takes care of some easy uh, problems with uh, expressions. Please follow along with your papers and your notes. Do the best job you can in completing the worksheet that was given for homework. And I think you should be pretty comfortable with it. Again, if you're not sure, go back and play a little part of the video to make sure that you're able to do the homework correctly. Well, we're going to wish you a good night.